Hi everybody, welcome to our daily release. So let's start standing. So make sure that you keep the same with hips, knees and feet. We're just going to start with a spine roll. So we're just going to go inhale and exhale. Bring your head down and slowly roll down the spine. Now try to bend the knees to don't put on the pressure the back of the legs. Remember, we stretch as far as we don't feel pain. Bend your knees to release your spine. Inhale at the end. And exhale, roll up the spine, pushing your feet down. And come all the way. Head is the last thing to come up. And then roll your shoulders backwards. And let's go again. Inhale. Exhale down. Let the head drop down. Inhale at the end. Exhale, roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. And then roll the shoulders backwards, open your chest. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, all the way down. Let the head and arms drop down. Inhale at the end. And exhale, roll up the spine. Don't worry about keeping the legs straight. Feel more the release in your back and your glutes. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And this time, move your hands forward. Step by our right foot and the left one. Come on to all fours. And we're going to go on to cat and cow. So we go inhale, tuck the pelvis in, chin and chest, curving the spine, push through your fingertips to don't stress the wrist. Exhale, move your pelvis forward, bring your tail out, lift the chest, come all the way up, arching your back. And one more time, inhale, cut the stretch, tuck the pelvis, chin and chest, exhale, move your pelvis forward, here is about stretching your tummy, so lift your tummy, open your chest, press with your fingertips. Now let's go for two, really feel the curving of the spine, relax your shoulders, exhale, move your pelvis forward, lift the chest, and one more time, look a little bit upwards. And let's go one more, inhale, cat stretch. Curving the spine and exhale, move your pelvis forward and lift your tummy. Have the sensation that you want to pull your tummy upwards. Back into center, sitting back onto child pose. If we cannot go all the way down, we can always bend our elbows and just rest here, pushing our bum backwards to extend our legs and our back. If you can go all the way down, you just go. But make sure that you don't let the weight collapse in your head. We hold here for four. Three. Two. And just one more. Slowly, back onto all fours, and very gently, we're going to slide the right knee forward, all the way onto our right hand, and slide the left knee backwards. If we cannot go all the way onto our heel, we go as far as possible, without forcing. Now we're going to bring our elbows forward, and we're going to try to rest in our thigh. If you can go all the way down, just let the chest completely rest on your thigh. And if you feel comfortable, extend your arms forward. If not, keep your elbows bent. Also, you can fold your arms and let the head rest on the arms. And we're just going to hold here for four breaths. Four. And three. Two, and just one more. Now engage your tummy to raise your torso, press with your feet, and raise your chest as much as you can. 
Okay, try to come onto your fingertips and elevate your tummy. If you're a little bit high, as far as you can go, okay? And we just hold here for four, lifting your tummy, open your chest, elbows in for three. Feel a nice stretch in your tummy. Two. And just one more. Bring your hands onto the floor, push yourself onto all fours. We're going to curl the toes under, press with your fingertips, index fingers pointing forward, and we go going to downward dog. We're just going to go inhale, lift with the heels as much as you can, and exhale, heels down. Let's go for three, down, two, down, one more, and down. Slowly bring your knees onto the ground, and we're going to swap. So this time bring your left knee forward, and slide the right one. And sit down on your heel as much as you can. We're going to go down, we can bend the elbows and just rest the head on our hands, or we can extend our arms forward, whatever is more comfortable for you. We hold here, and still we keep engaging our tummy, and we hold for four, and three, two, and just one more. Slowly raise your torso, bring your hands close to you, press with your feet, elevate your tummy, and we hold here for four, and three, two, and just one more. From the pigeon pose, come on to all fours, curl the toes under, back again, downward dog. And we just go lift the heels up as we inhale, exhale, bring them down as far as possible without pain at the back of the legs. Let's go for three, press with your fingertips to extend your arms and your back, and let's go two, and one more. Slowly bring your knees onto the ground, bring your knees together if it's comfortable or keep your knees a little bit wider and we're sitting back onto child pose. Again, if we cannot go all the way down, we use the elbows and the hands to press our body backwards. And let's hold here for four breaths. Inhale deep, exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale, two, exhale, and just one more, exhale, raise your torso, come into the sitting position, and we're going to end with our three deep and releasing breaths. We're going to inhale, arms up, exhale, arms down. Let's go. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Hands back. Pray position and we say Namaste. Thank you to join us and see you again.